I really didn't want to tell this story because it's embarrassing. But I mean, after I told you how I ate from the garbage and I love to smell my toenails, how much more embarrassed can I really be? Besides, as you can see from the title, this is a natural bodily function and we all do it. So by you judging me, you're really just judging yourself. Judge not less GB. Uh... When I was a child, we used to go to church very far away from where we lived. We lived in La Romaine. We used to go to church in New Grant. Of course, my neighbor wants to play music now. Of course. It used to take us like a clean hour to hour and a half to get to and from church every single time. The woman who used to drop us, God rest her soul, used to drive real slow, but she was doing us a favor so we couldn't really complain. She was also the queen of smalls. God rest her soul. So we used to be the last to leave church every single week, even though we had the longest distance to travel. God rest my soul, because I used to be dying of hunger. But because everyone knew we lived far, from time to time, people used to invite us to their homes for lunch, so we just, you know, come to church, go buy them for lunch afterwards, and then, you know, go home refreshed and rejuvenated and, and properly fed, you understand? So this one time, this family invited us for lunch. Great, because we didn't have to wait until it was like three o'clock to eat lunch, you know? So we get to their house, and they, I think they, they weren't ready yet, like lunch wasn't ready yet, so they were just like, you know, lunch not ready, you know, mill around until we call you. So my brother and I went outside on the sour cherry tree because we're not gonna sit down here and be hungry. There's sour cherry outside, we can eat that. Sour cherry, as the name suggests, is very sour, so you shouldn't really be eating too much of it. But me, greedy me, greedy eight-year-old me, I wanna say, because I don't think I was more than 10. I was just eating, eating, eating. I think my brother was just like, I had enough, but I was just, because my eye is long, I was eating a whole set. They call us for lunch, um, we started running inside, and as I run inside, I feel like my belly doing a kind of, I was like, hmm. But you know, I didn't really take it on because to the table, food, like, whoa. I was just like, yes, this is about to happen. I'm about to eat my belly full and then go back outside for some more tomato cherry. Now, this is the important part of the story. I sit at the table and I wait my food to be, you know, dished out. They move me and put me in another chair. So I'm going to the other chair and I see that there's like a hole in the chair. Like, okay, so you know how a dining room chair is? A dining table chair. It is like the backrest, obviously, and then the seat. And the seat is usually where it, there's upholstery. Now, it was upholstered, and there was plastic over the upholstery. It wasn't like a plastic bag. It was like plastic upholstery, if that makes sense. And there was a slit in the plastic on the upholstery. So there wasn't any slit in the actual upholstery that's on the plastic itself. I hope I explained that correct. So I'm going to sit down and I see the hole, but I didn't say nothing because, I mean, it's a hole, it's not like a big deal. People have holes in their furniture all the time. Sit down on a chair, having lunch, eating, 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 chatting, 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 conversing, conversing, conversing. Now remember my belly doing this. The sourness of the sour cherry and the niceness of the food, because the food was bomb. I don't know what's like, like affecting me somehow my belly just started to like bubble. So I feel like some gas <laughs> is starting to, you know, trickle down the intestines, the intestines and, and get to, to the rectal area to, you know, be dispersed into the atmosphere. I just felt that that was the best time to, you know, let it out. I know it's better out than in. I ain't not finna kill myself for nobody. I mean, yes, I'm people house, yes, we having lunch, but better out than in. It was like one of the quiet ones, like the silent killers, you know, those kind. I ease it out and then continue eating as normal. You know when you're a pum, like choking you, like you're just feeling like it, 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 you're gonna die, like if it, like you need a gas mask to like, you know, you know those kinds? It was one of those. And everybody on the table immediately was like, What is that? <laughs> Just continue eating like if I didn't smell nothing. Because the rule is who smelt it, dealt it. So if you smell it, use the one that do it, not me. But of course, my mother, being the mother that she is, she looks at me and she's like, Taran, I ain't do nothing, it's not me. But I could never lie to my mother. Never. So after saying I ain't do nothing, I don't even I do even think I finished the sentence. I just said, like, okay, yeah. 
it was me. Everybody started to be like, oh, you're so nasty, you're so stinky, you're so single. I just like, if you guys were just hushed for like the, the 35 seconds that this is going to just be in the atmosphere for and let it pass, there'll be nothing to converse about afterwards. You'll have nothing to say because it will just pass and you will move on with your life. But you know, people, they just act like if a poem is an atomic bomb and they're gonna die. I don't even know if they realize that the more they talk, the more it enters their mouth. So I was there just having all these verbal abuse thrown at me because I was an age old child who was just living my life and I had to, you know, let some gas out into the atmosphere. Lunch is over, the food was bomb, you know, good conversation and we get up to leave the table. One of the people who lived there was passing behind me and looked at the chair that I was sitting on and saw the hole that I told you I saw before I sat on it. You know what they said? Darren, you fart a hole into the chair? Excuse? No, 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 don't try to play me. It was there already. She gone and call she mother. I was just like, mommy, this hole was here all the time? The mother say no. I'm just standing there, just like they really think that a fat could bust a hole in a poultry. I mean, of course, now that I look back on it, they were joking. But I was triggered because they were accusing me of making a hole in something that I know it was there all the time. Last time I saw them, I was probably like 19 and it came up in conversation. They were just like, oh my God, you remember that time when Taran bust a hole in the chair with his fat? I didn't bust the hole in the chair. It was already there. Thanks for watching this short video, guys. I'm triggered. Anyhow, it's, it's water under the bridge. I am not eight years old anymore but i still live by the rule better out than in if you like the video guys give it a thumbs up and subscribe because i'm making videos every single day yes every single day in august i know all of you have embarrassing stories about it because it's a natural bodily function let me know in the comments down below have you ever destroyed a piece of clothing a piece of furniture or have you just ever been just super embarrassed about it you thought you were going to fat soft Did it end up being loud and everybody hear you let's reason together in the comment section below remember to follow all my social so behind the scenes updates if you're interested links are always in the description and i'll see you tomorrow god willing bye i'm not wearing pants